Oh, that's so f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader 120. Nice. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, as promised, we're going to go ahead and install this charging lead that gives us the ability to charge our rechargeable battery um, in our QX7 Tyrannus. Now, if you remember right, most recently we've... Uh, put the hall gimbals into the Tyrannus. There's a video for that if you want to check it out. They are wonderful. Um, I picked the Tyrannus QX7 because A, I could get it for $99 a time and so can you most of the time. And it's 7 to 16 channels. And quite honestly, guys, how much are we going to use in quadcopters for channels? I use 8 total. So first thing we need to do is we need to take off the module bay door. Then we're going to go ahead and take off the battery bay door. Now, remember taking this backing off that you want to be careful of those pins in your module bay door because someday you might want to use those for a module. So, we eject our battery. We gently unplug it from the board. And there we go. Now, this is going to save us down the road um, having to pull this battery out every time we want to charge it because we're just going to come in from the back. And it's going to help us from putting wear and tear on that tab on the board that we're plugging in and out of by pulling it in and out all the time. So let's take the back off easily enough. I know you've heard it enough, but be careful taking the back off of those pins. Four screws on the back. Let's speed it up and get through this part. Now, other tutorials have shown taking all this uh, equipment out of your radio itself and putting the um, plug in the bottom side of this. Now, I'm not going to do that because that's just way too much, and the results are the same. So we're going to actually take and put our plug over here in the back of the back panel. Now, I'm putting it on what would be the left-hand side if the front of the controller was pointing at my belly. And um, that's where we're going to start for this one. Let's get our screws and things out of the way. Keep those. We're going to need those. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the wiring assembly out of the package, which we got from Aloft Hobbies. Once again, thank you to them. No one else makes this product. So if you're looking to do this, head to Aloft Hobbies and get it. They can also sell you the battery if you don't have one of those and the actual charging plug. So we're going to go ahead, take the wire out, take the awesome sticker they gave us. Once again, I, I can't say enough about these guys. Their support's incredible. You should buy from them always. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the locking nut off the assembly because we're going to use the locking nut as our guide to uh, put a center point for our hole. Now, you're only going to be able to slip off the long lead through the nut. So the long lead will actually pop through the nut uh, the shorter lead, you're going to have to pull the pins out of the plug. So to do this, gently reach to the top. Make sure you have a hold of the plug itself in the um, metal pin in the plug and pull them out. Now, we want to make sure we pay attention to what side's what so we don't short out our radio later. For me, if I put the black part of the plug upright, the ground is away from me. Now, I'll show you later how to verify that you're putting it in correctly when we put it all back together. Now, we're going to take our nut, we're going to put it inside, and we're going to put a pencil mark centering it left, right, up, down. Uh, inside, there's a seam that helps you note where the top center is. Um, however, when I did this at my afterthought, you know, afterthought's always biggest and the wisest, is that we could do this from the outside. You could center this nut on the outside and put your mark on the outside, and it's going to make drilling a lot easier. Now, drilling wasn't impossible from the inside, but it would be a lot easier on the outside. So, what we're going to need is a half inch or 12 millimeter drill bit. Now, I went out and purchased some step drill bits because uh, for drilling plastic, they're a lot nicer and they'll make a nice, clean, professional hole, so my end result looks really good. 
So of these drill bits that I bought, these step bits, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the long, slower stepping drill bit. So as I go, it's not quite as rapid of a, of a drilling process, which is also good about these. You can get that at Amazon, and I'll put a link in the bottom for that, as well as everything else you see here today from Aloft and everything. So I started drilling out a pilot so I could see the backside, and then I went to the outside, as I mentioned, where it's much easier to drill and drilled my way down to the half inch mark on the step bit and then we went ahead through her in reverse backed her on out and that quick and easily we have a nice perfect fitting beautiful clean hole to put our assembly through so we're going to slide everything back through we're going to grab our nut um, you can do it either way. You can feed the long lead in first or the short lead. I like to make things hard for myself, so I did the short first so I could fumble around with all the wires at the same time. As we mentioned before, the long lead will pop right in, no problem, and, well, slight problem, but it does work without breaking anything. And then we're going to put our short leads through with the pins, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and we're going to cinch down the nut. It's quite, you know, for fat fingers like mine, it's a little tight in there, so it takes a little bit to get it going. Then I found that if you just screw the outside once you get it started, uh, things go a lot, lot quicker and a lot easier. Again, there's no vibration in the controller and stuff, so hand tight is going to be fine with this, you know. Um, I'm a believer of the door always opens out. You may believe the door opens in, but I made it where my hinge is facing outward so that when we pop it open it pops outward and then as i mentioned we're just going to hand tighten this down as nice and tight as we can do with our fingers and that's not going to go anywhere so now we're going to take and we're going to put our pins back in and if you remember right we had on our plug there is a notched side and a flat side we had flat side up with the ground wire on the outside so these, these pinholes are really small i'm an older guy not the best eyesight so it does take a second to find the guide and I found once you get the hole just give it a little twist and it'll find its smoothest way in because they're not completely round these pins they have a little bit of a flatness to them so once you do that it pops in no problem at all and then we follow it up by doing the hot wire as well same technique try to find the hole little twist as you can see with my finger and then it pops right in no problem at all and we're set we're mounted everything is good now we just need to run the wiring into the back of our battery case area and we'll be ready to start sealing things back up now if you want to verify that you put your pins in correctly just check out your battery to your plug now slot side to slot side flat to flat and if red's with red and black's with black, you've done it right and you're not going to burn anything up. So what we want to do is from this side, we're going to have a, the long leads going to run over to the uh, plug on the bottom part. And we're going to run that all the way through the bottom and up through the uh, farthest area in the battery slot. And then we're going to take the short one and put it straight up through its side. The only side it can go in. Going to make sure both of those are up and not hitting anything. We're going to watch our pins very carefully on the top. Now, a cheat with the pins, there are notches in that slot. The top notch goes between the first and second pin, and the bottom notch goes between the last and next to last pin. So, once we get our assembly back together, we can go ahead and plug it into the board, and we can start putting everything back together now one thing you'll notice is position wise of this uh, plug on the other one we're going to have a, a little bit of a time not much of, of finding the right place for that and i'll show you where so let's just reassemble everything put our hatch door on again protecting our pins can't say that enough those pins are important for modules down the road that you might use now you'll see that uh, this particular plug is there and that's what we plug into that's not a problem we got it plugged in however it won't lay on top it won't lay forward 
won't lay where we can lay the battery on it. So what you're going to want to do is just make sure you take that white clip and put it in that open area by just pushing it down a little bit. There's lots of space in there, as you can see. Just make sure you're not hitting anything or breaking anything while you do it. Just hold it down. I end up flipping my battery upside down. Makes it a lot easier to hold that into place. And there we go. Battery's in. Everything's set. And put our door on. Now, door is not tight is not as tight as it looks <laughs> but i'm just not left-handed and backwards so once i had it upright putting the door on is not a problem at all we're all set now here's the time for the magic did i do it right is there any smoke no we're all set everything's great and we have installed our charging port i'm not the best with electronics so whenever there's not smoke it's a good thing so as you can see, I lost it for a minute. Uh, once we have our plug port here, nice, looks beautiful, looks professional. You also get from Aloft a charger. Again, I'll have these links in the bottom for you. And this charger is, is like any other battery charger, but made for these specific batteries. Uh, it has a light indicator on it that tells you red uh, when we're charging and green when we're done. All right, here we go, guys. We plugged it in. No smoke, no fire. Looks like everything is great. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you've learned something from it. Remember, look for all the links in the bottom, and thank you very much. Happy flying.